Good news from Varuk Engineering about 100.4 crore rupees versus a comparable of 98.4 crore rupees and the pad is what they've posted. Top line as well has seen a significant growth. Let's take it across then to Tarang Jain, MD at Varuk Engineering. Tarang, hi, uh, afternoon, good set of numbers. Just walk us through the other highlights that you've seen. How is it that your key clients have contributed in the quarter gone by? Yes, uh, good afternoon. I think I'm fairly satisfied with the numbers for the quarter. Uh, as you know that we know we have two main businesses, one is a global exterior lighting business and other is an India business and I think we have seen uh, very good growth you know with all our key customers in both the segments you know we, uh, when it comes to the lighting segment we have, we have done a significant business with all our uh, top customers whether it's VW, Renault or Ford you know um, and, uh, and in India also I think where our main business is the two-wheeler segment I think we are getting a lot of traction, a lot of cross-selling of a lot of our two-wheeler products across with all our customers. So, and, that, and that shows in the results, you know, because we have a stated growth of about 20%, you know, in, the, in this last quarter. Um, our, our EBITDA also growth is very good, especially more in India as compared to, uh, uh, I mean, a lighting business. So I think going forward, this is the first quarter. Normally we do, you know, uh, much better in the second half. You know, and uh, we will see you will we will see improvements quarter on quarter as we go along. You just quantify how the India business has done and how much does it contribute to as a percentage of your revenues? Because I understand you also managed to uh, bag some of the key clients like Hero Motorcorp as well as HMSI in the quarter gone by. Yes, so you know, our India business has done extremely well. You know, it's about thirty six percent of our total revenues. And there the growth has been, if you were to, to remove the excise duty, you know, which was there in the first quarter numbers of last year, we have grown about 28% and our EBITDA growth has been about 34%, you know, in the first quarter over the previous uh, quarter. We're getting good traction, you know, we have got 16 products, you know, in our two-wheeler uh, portfolio. And, you know, and uh, when it comes to all our customers, you know, uh, other than Bajaj Auto, whether it's Honda, whether it's uh, Hero, Yamaha, you know, uh, we have got good traction, we're doing good cross-selling, we're able to kind of uh, uh, not only uh, grow with the market, but we are able to also increase business in our other products with these customers. Could you specify why exactly your top line has registered a growth of 25% and bottom line is flat? Is there this large, is this, and is this seasonal in nature, this kind of an adjustment? No, not really, not really, because, for example, the, uh, in India, 90% of our business is, you know, is in the two-wheeler segment. And two-wheeler segment, as it is, has grown at about 16%, you know, uh, in this first quarter. And, uh, and overall, we have grown 28%. The reason is that, you know, for example, if we were selling five products to Honda last year, we are selling seven now. You know, and so what happens is that the revenues from, the ex from, from these additional products is also, uh, also contributing to the growth. The other thing is also that, you know, there is a higher content growth, the higher electronics content growth also taking place in some of our products like the instrument clusters, you know, which we have entered with Honda, with Suzuki, you know, with, uh, even with Bajaj. So that's also contributing, you know, uh, to, to, to higher revenues for us. Uh, my next immediate follow-up question would be that our understanding is that there is a war in the two-wheeler segment and Bajaj Auto has said cat amongst the pigeon when Mr. Bajaj himself said that look I will be going for lower margins to gain market share and historically Mr. Jain my experience has been that when an OEM is in a war mode it always will have an impact on the supplier margins. So what are the feelers you're getting from uh, the two-wheeler buyers? at all I mean because see what happens is that historically for us whether it's Bajaj or any other customer you know what happens is whether it's a premium model or it's a commuter model you know we have our costing is the same for you know all the customers and there's no differentiation made so if, if, if Bajaj or somebody else is employing a certain strategy it's not affecting our margins you know uh, I, I mean in, in our products at all and there's been no discussion at all of this kind with Bajaj also what will be the benefit of a weaker currency on the export business? I think it's, it's positive. I think uh, I think our exports here, I mean, are not that much. It's about five or six percent of our revenues out of India. You know, so, uh, so that always has a positive impact, as you know, that the both the euro and dollar have appreciated, and I think there has been a, a, a positive uh, impact uh, to us. But it's to the extent of five percent of our revenues only. Just one final question. You know, you, we're approaching the. Um 
the festive season and you considering uh, you're really the first party to be involved here, you must be getting a feel already as to what is the kind of sales growth that we are bound to see in the months to come. Uh, just give me a color on what is it that we can expect in terms of volume growth from the auto industry at large? It will be, I think it will probably be similar. I think probably uh, the OEMs also are stocking up. So I think that they've kind of, you know, they've kind of even out the production over the months because it's impossible to, you know, in season time go up by 20 or 30 percent in one month. We don't have the capacities, you know, really available for that one month. So I think it's been staggered over the next, uh, over the few months, you know, whether it's August, September, October. You know, so uh, already I think the market growth is already quite high, 16 percent. Maybe you could see a little bit higher, but, but, but we do see a very good season, you know, uh, uh, this thing over whatever the growth we're experiencing, we're seeing a good season ahead. Good to hear that and we'll chat again soon once those bumper sales numbers come in for the festive season. Tarang, thanks so much for taking the time out. Thank you. Thank you.